Well, it seems like the world has become what can you do for me, not what I can do for you or what we can do together. Today is election day, and basically I'm staying off of the media. TV is not going to be turned on. I will be playing music, and I will be finally, finally cleaning the rug in the dining room. I mean, I still have a few things to do before I get to the rug, but today and the next couple days is supposed to be decent weather, and my sinuses, of course, are acting up. Well, it's probably my German friend asking me if I, I have voted, and yes, I voted early. Um, sometimes I watch vlogs, you know, of people, and they're always asking for Patreons. Pa pa well, they're asking for money all the time. You know, and that is supposed to be for the betterment of the channel, that kind of setup. But a lot of times people just go hog wild and buy all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't have the gall to do that. I mean, I was raised with morals and stuff and ethics. Oh, gosh. I have been blowing my nose all day. But it could be stirring up all the dust and dirt and stuff around here. It could be. Um... I really need to get my acting gear instead of lying here in bed. It's not that cold, but when you're not moving around doing stuff, you tend to get chilly. <laughs> Speaking of chilly, I'll be making it probably toward the end of the week. And I don't know what I'll have for dinner today. I'm not really concerned with eating right now. I'm concerned with doing what I need to do around here. Oh, uh, oh my goodness, tomorrow's Whoop Whoop Wednesday, and I will have a joke for you. What will it be about? I can tell you my dumb guy joke. I have a whole bunch of dumb guy jokes. Some people call them Polish jokes. Basically, you pick an ethnicity that you think is dumb. And I, for some reason, in this country, it's called a Polish joke. I'm Bohemian descent, so I usually make it a Bohemian joke. Or dumb guy joke. Because that could be anybody. I told a dumb guy joke to a Polish girl when I was living overseas. And she goes, oh, that's a Russian joke. <laughs> yeah, so you never know. It's really cool to know people all over the world, and with the internet and all, it's, it's the best. I mean, people do horrible things with technology, but you can do a lot of really fantastic things with technology. I don't even want to be concerned with the electoral anything today. I just hope that whoever wins the election will take the virus seriously and urge the population to do so, so that we can get back to more of a normal. You can't when this is looming over your head all the time, and there's a lot of stress in a lot of people that just are not doing well. <sighs> I put my hand up like this a lot when I'm lying down because my shoulder, it puts direct pressure down on my shoulder this way instead of dragging on my shoulder when it's in this position. It makes my shoulder hurt less. <laughs> if someone sent you, let's say, a hundred dollars or a hundred euro or a a good, goodly amount of money, what would you do with it? I'd save it. I'd probably use it for bills. If someone sent me a goodly amount, I would use it for gas in the car to get out to California. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, well, I better get my button here, hey? <laughs>
Ah, Thursday. I don't know what I'll do for Thursday's vlog. I've been thinking of some things, but, uh, and there's plenty of things to do. Anyone that watches my channel knows that I'm not all wonderful smiles and laughs and giggles all the time because I'm real. Life is a bowl of cherries. Cherries have pits. Yeah. Oh well. Upward and onward.